Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. The game I have here today is Museum Madness, and this is another game which I didn't hear about until I saw it on Lazy Game Reviews, LGR's channel. It looks like an adventure game for kids, it looks pretty interesting. What I'm going to do here is I have a sealed copy of the game, and I'm going to open it up and see what's inside. These old big box games, a lot of times have cool stuff inside. And they're going to play the game, we'll see what it's like um, for myself, I guess. It says here it's for the makers of the Oregon Trail, and I did a video on the Oregon Trail once on this channel, which is pretty cool, so check that out if you get a chance. But if you like this sort of thing, I do a lot of these unshrinking videos and gameplay videos, so if you're not already subscribed to the channel, please go ahead and subscribe and hit the notification button so you can be notified next time I do one like this. Um, and again, Museum Madness looks like a pretty cool um, educational type title, Solve a Mystery, Overcome Chaos, Save the Day, Develop Problem Solving Skills. You know, I like adventure games, and this was definitely Original Seal. You have the, the characteristic uh, small, small shrink wrap hole, if you can see that. It feels original. Without further ado, let's open it up. I got my big knife here. I'm going to make a cut in the top, like I usually do for these one-piece boxes. We'll just cut it right here, if we can, without cutting my hand. That was a little bit harder than I thought it would be. Now let's make some cuts on the sides. Let's make a cut on this side. We should be able to get that open relatively easily. Come on. I have to rip it a little bit. There we go. All right, so we got our old buddy, the cardboard insert. Probably just dump it out this time. Nothing else in there. Open this guy up. Oh, we got discs, floppy discs. Haven't seen those in a while. Three and a half inch discs. We got a pretty decent sized manual. Uh, look here, a registration card, it looks like. Technical support. Very interesting, exciting. And the manual, uh, it's black and white, but it's nice and big. It is by Mech. Uh, that's the company, the Minnesota, I think, Educational Computing Consortium that made the Oregon Trail. Basically, you know, play, how to play the game. Nothing too exciting in here. And then we got these cool discs, uh, which I will load up in my USB floppy drive, and we'll get this thing going. And, uh, by the way, games like this, I never... If it comes on discs, I always put it on my shelf. If it's anything that's disc or older, it goes on my shelf. I only flatten the boxes out for CD-ROM games, just FYI. All right, without further ado, let's get to the gameplay footage. All right, so here we have here Museum Madness by Mech, the Minnesota Educational Computing Consortium, developed by Novatrain, as it says here. Uh, this game is sort of a long intro sequence, considering it's made on floppy disks. There's no speech, obviously, but... Uh, and by the way, there is a CD version of this game, but it appears to be exactly the same as the disc version. There's no additional speech or anything like that, so whenever that's the case, I always buy the disc version uh, rather than the CD version. So... National Museum. So the kids, this is like before the internet. The kids looking at the National Museum database. I guess uh, he must have like uh, some. Whoops! I skipped that too fast. He must have some like pre-internet uh, like dial-up service. I guess the modem or something. I think he's going to talk to the robot at the museum. So this museum has an artificial intelligence robot that he talks to, named Mick. I thought you were offline while the museum was being converted to total computer control. I'm the only one who knows you can think for yourself. So, <laughs> some kind of future, futuristic story here. You can talk back to me, the kid discovered. So this, again, it's, you know, set in the 90s, but obviously uh, it's a very futuristic scenario. It's an intern of, you know, dial up networking to the internet or something to a museum and artificial intelligence. I was offline reprogramming, museums in danger, blah, blah, blah. The artwork is pretty good, at least over here. It's some kind of new, new online game, right? <laughs> How can we see it be in danger? Good question. Uh, there's no game. The virus invaded the system. Blah, blah, blah. All right, kid, we get the point. So there's only like two pictures here. What can I do? You can come to the museum and help me out. Yep. My power is failing. My memory has been corrupted. I can't last much longer. I don't know about this. But, you know, I guess I won't ask my parents. I'll just just go and help them out at the museum in the middle of the night because, you know, some, some crazy robot asked me to do it. I'll deal with a program onto your floppy drive, bring the disk with you. I can't last much longer. All right, so you copy the file to my floppy drive. 
Oh, it's a three and a half inch disc. <laughs> Just like the game came on. I can trust Mick because he's proven to always tell the truth. Yeah, that's a smart kid. I mean, this is a kid's game, so I'm assuming the monster, the robot's not going to try to kill him, but uh, I don't think this is necessarily the smartest thing to do. Alright, how do I skip this? Do we credits now? Come on, let's go. Alright, she's in the museum. Okay, it's daytime. It's not the night egg, actually. So why is nobody there? Because oh, the museum is being worked on. Oh, I'm glad I waited until morning. Alright. Good idea, kid. I'm mean, grounded for sure if I stuck. Alright, so at least there's some realism here. <laughs> how do I get inside? I don't think, I think this is all part of the, like, the intro sequence. There's no, like, actual puzzle to get inside. I don't think, because when I skipped it before, it actually just went into the right inside here. So it was closed for repairs, right, so the door open. Oh, actually, interesting, it didn't start here. It started more inside when I, when I just escaped the, escaped out of the, the intro. So now we have, uh, some stuff you could do. This is my inventory. Oh, I got a lot of stuff. Floppy disk, flashlight, comb, handkerchief, pen, pocket knife, dollar bill. Definitely looks like a full-on adventure game, not like just some kind of kid's thing. I can walk and go wherever I want. That music is good music, but, I mean, a little bit annoying after some time, to be honest. Because where's he going? He's going downstairs to, like, the, the back door. Oh, there's a keypad, which I don't have a code for. Door won't open. It must be locked. Too dark to find the lock. Maybe it's something in my pack. I was thinking it will help here. I have a flashlight. That's right. I forgot about that. Oh, cool. All right. So I have a flashlight, but yeah, I don't really know the symbols to get in here. Maybe it's part of the Kai protection or something, although I would be surprised if that's the case because, like I said, the first time I did it, it just went directly inside. How do I get out of here? Uh, I don't see... Oh, there we go. There's an arrow back. So it shows these animations, and again, the music is pretty nice, but it's it's just it's on a, a pretty nice loop, and it probably gets annoying after a while. But I'm assuming you can turn it down or turn it off if it's really annoying. Uh, here, gonna look at the front door. Welcome to the museum. The museum is closed for repairs. Oh, authorized personnel may enter through the side door. So I guess I have to figure out how to get through that door. Oh, what's this? It's, okay, there's stuff up here. Is that how they do, like, the code for their to their back door? Is they put the combination right at the top here? It's the American flag, world, tree, space shuttle, computer. Let's hopefully that's it. <laughs> what if they mean something? <laughs> I guess it's a kid's game, right? But still adventure, and I like adventures. Let's see if I can get in the door. Okay, so first I need the flashlight. Flashlight. Okay. Let's try the combination. Uh, American flag. Uh, world. Tree. Space shuttle. Uh, computer. Holy cow, it worked! <laughs> That's like the worst security I've ever seen in my life. Alright, I'm in some kind of maze, looks like. I'm about to keep playing too much from here. I mean, you get the idea. It's, a, it's an adventure game for kids, and uh, it looks like a lot of fun, honestly. Um, I would definitely want to play it some more and check it out. I just picked up something off the floor, I don't know what that was. But, oh, oh card, a key card. Yeah, listen, definitely looks like it's some kind of adventure game, and I'm assuming it's educational. It teaches you stuff about how to help uh, artificial intelligent robots and how to, how to dial up networking <laughs> to museum uh, internet accounts or whatever before the internet. Anyway, if you, th if you look, think this is interesting, uh, please let me know what you think in the comments. If you play this game, please let me know. It looks like I'm stuck in some kind of maze right now. Although, what's this? You go to sleep on the floor or put a mouse trap out? I don't know what I just did. Looks like a mouse trap icon, but probably nothing. Anyway, like I said, if you're interested, if you've played this game before, I'd love to hear what you think about it or if you've seen this game before. And uh, just regardless, let me know you liked the video. Please like if you liked it. Please share and please definitely subscribe if you've not done so and hit the notification button. Anyway, hope this was fun. See you guys again soon. Have a great day. Bye-bye.